this past week, Sega Lord X released, you know, like <laughs> you just talked about Mario for 30 minutes. And I was like, yes. Among those great games was a Nintendo's own Super Mario Brothers. They had multiple adventures on the NES and those games just kept getting better and better with each new entry. <laughs> it, it sometimes it did feel like at times during that <laughs> that re- I've watched it too, of course. Look, I have a lot of rowing. To, I've been doing pretty good at rowing. I've been working nice. out every single day for the past month. Yeah, I've never, I've never done. I usually like did like two or three times a week. I'm doing it every day. Not missing so it's becoming day. like part of your life. You're like need to go do it. Yeah, no. It, well, and it's not because I want to lose weight or anything. I just feel like I'm like missing like strength. Yeah, and it's been it's been great. I've I feel great. I'm sleeping better. Oh, it's great. So I need Sega Lord X being yeah, his AI. He's a human AI <laughs> producing this content. It's true. Uh, YouTube's been recommending like videos from four years ago of his. And sh- sure enough, it's like Disney's Castle of Illusion really surprised on the Sega Genesis. And it really packed a punch. This putrid experience is a series of choppy mazes where you collect things. It sounds awful, plays worse, and is shocking it came from the same house that did Joe Montana 93 and Vector Man. But it uses the gems driver, which sounds like ass. (laughs) (laughs) Sounds like ass. Just take a listen to these FM sounds. (laughs) (laughs) Ew, stinky. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to Batman Returns. I, I made him a little a little too surfer there. <laughs> Moving on to Batman Returns, man. This is Sing Lord X. Thank you guys for watching, and we will catch you next time. And stay away from downtown on the 18th. It's going to be a little um, smoggy. <laughs> Nicolas Cage by the end of it. <laughs> Well, I want to see a movie where Nicolas Cage is Sega Lord X. <laughs> Road Rash, Road Rash Two is one of my favorite games for the Sega Genesis. Love the sprite scaling. <laughs> Love the sprite scaling, but they really missed an opportunity for more parallax scrolling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Caster Troy. <laughs> I could eat a peach for hours. <laughs> you know, I could uh play road rush two for hours <laughs> <laughs> nicholas cage x <laughs> i'd subscribe <laughs> oh my god do we need <laughs> we might have to make that video we have to make like a, yeah a, a full video of a nicholas cage impre- or just get the ai to do it <laughs> <laughs> and just have, him, have him talk about all the most obvious Sega Genesis games. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog 2 showed up Sonic 1 in just about every one. <laughs> I remember saving up for this game because I was <laughs> I finally had my own money. Proving that the Sega Genesis could live up to its arcade predecessors. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas Cage X. Uh, that's got to be our next thing. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine making that video and just like like random people on YouTube stumbling upon it. <laughs> what the fuck is this? I watch Sega Lord X. Why did these guys do the same <laughs> shtick as Nicholas Cage? <laughs> and I will catch you next time. <laughs> <laughs> thank god for basic bitch <laughs> gaming retro gaming youtube i've been watching yeah. like a lot of uh there's you know like really teeny channels that do like it was like top 50 there's one i just watched kim justice's top 50 nes games this guy really had he had some some out there opinions wow he's, he's, he's sticking mario 3 at number eight and shit i mean this guy's no, throwing you for a loop it's wrong it's yeah. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but he actually agreed with you all on a lot of stuff. Like he's got River City Ransom way up there. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's a fun little beat em up. Or I saw there was another one. What was the guy's? I don't remember the YouTuber's name, but he did um top ten Simpsons game. I'm like, aren't aren't there only ten Simpsons games? <laughs> <laughs> and don't like nine of them blow. <laughs> Are we gonna really gonna get through this? That same guy did um to, uh top twenty Star Wars games. And, you know, a lot of them are great Star Wars games, and I, I agree. But he included Dark Forces, Jedi Outcast, and Jedi Academy 
No, no Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2. It didn't even appear on the list. No Rogue Squadron. And no Rogue Squadron or Rogue Leader, which maybe you would prefer Rogue Leader for game. Yeah, game. Rogue Leader is pretty sweet. But you know what's great about Rogue Squadron? It's pretty cheap car. I know you have an EverDrive mm-hmm. and that doesn't freaking matter to you at all. But yeah. I saw it for like 10 bucks at the used game store the other day. And that would, I almost picked it up, but I'm playing, I need to save up for my EverDrive. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna get a uh, maybe a Nintendo 64 one? Yeah, someday. I got. I got. I got. I got. I got to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I got. I got. I just got this sex station. I got to stop. I did find a guy, Cybercom Gaming, and he uh, he just he does basic bitch lists, and I was enjoying his basic bitch lists. I also learned about um, there's two ROM hacks. I don't know whether or not they exist yet, or if I can get at them or what, but. There's one that somebody made a 16-bit adaptation of Sonic Triple Trouble for the Game Gear. Now, that sounds right up my alley, especially if I wow. can on my EverDrive. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I remember I had that on the Game Gear, and I thought it was fun because it was easy, and I got through it very fast. Well, now you're talking my language. <laughs> it is fun. Sonic, Ka- Sa- Sonic Chaos was pretty easy, too, and I got through that, too. And the other one is uh, there's a guy who is developing um, Simpsons Arcade for the Sega Genesis. Oh, that, that's a cool idea. Yeah. And apparently he's like, he's discovering like, wow, the Sega Genesis is really powerful. Like I, we can pretty much make this game one-to-one. It, I mean, even just with, when, with that uh, Streets of Raid mod, Rage mod that you had uh, with the, the Shredder's Revenge, Re-Revenge, where they have those sprites, the sprites look awesome on that. I think it just comes down to storage. Like the, the, the CPU could actually do a lot, but it, uh, you know, the carts were only so big. Yeah. Like megabits, four, four megabit, <laughs> four megabits, four megabits, <laughs> four, four megabits. And it didn't fit very much parallax scrolling. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do different tricks. Subscribe to Red Cow Entertainment on Patreon for full episodes every other week.